When you think of frank, honest talk about sex, you think of either Lisa Breckenridge or our next guest. <laughs> Hardly. Dr. Ruth has been giving advice to couples for years on radio. Decades. Decades. For decades, ever decades. since NYW in New York, right. on radio, TV, and even online. Any girlfriend who says that you are abnormal because you want to have sex once a day, I have serious doubts about the relationship. Some young people do want to engage in sex every day, and it does depend that the partner also would want it. So they have to have a good talk. Uh, so <laughs> you're right, that, that's an interesting dilemma. It is a natural rhythm for some people to have sex often and for other people, not so often. It's Absolutely. hard to get along that way. No, uh, it's not hard if you love each other, not you two. No, we love each She's other. She's married. Yeah. I know that, I watched your show. Um, not anybody who is married. However, the married couple, if they have a relationship, and if he wants to have more sex than she does, I tell her, come here, I tell you a secret. Give him an orgasm. It takes two minutes, that's all. Just <laughs> check it off your list, put it on but, your to-do right. list. That, the and way you say it, it sounds like it's a box you give him and say, here, this is for you. No, 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 With the, within the yes. relationship. Yes. Within the rel and if she, listen carefully, mm -hmm. if she wants to have more sexual experiences, you do not have to be aroused. I'm careful because it's a morning show. Yes, yes thank you. And you, um, he can give her an orgasm. Mm -hmm. it's, yes. It doesn't have to be simultaneous. You know, Sigmund Freud should have taken a course with me because Freud, the giant psych psychiatrist, he was sexually illiterate. He said that if a woman doesn't have sexual satisfaction, during that sex act, see how careful I mm -hmm. am, then she's an immature woman. Freud didn't know about sex, because that's not so. Yeah. And in, um, in the United States, we have the best scientifically validated data about human sexual functioning that has ever been available. All that is important is that both have a relationship and love each other. And, love. Right. and it's okay to fake it sometimes. Sometimes. Now, you have to know we women, Steve, listen carefully. I'm listening, I'm listening. We women are very lucky. We can fake it mm -hmm. sometimes. If you are tired, you have twins, you have a lot of work, you can fake it sometimes. Not all the time. Just but you know what, Lisa? We are lucky. They cannot fake that sexual arousal. Yeah. So that's very important. Look at his face. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of <laughs> Elaine Boozler, the great comedian. Yes. She used to say she was so unlucky with guys that they would fake premature ejaculation. Nonsense. They would fake <laughs> premature ejaculation. <laughs> Nonsense. That's it was a joke. joke. It was a joke. I know. They okay. talk about my book. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before we talk about your book, because we have plenty of time, we're going to talk know, about your I book. I know. Um, the world has changed. Yes. You were along with, writing along with the change, you were also responsible somewhat for the change. And Our, I met you many years ago. ago. Yes, right? yeah. yes. Before we had changed a lot. At that point, when you first became famous in the 80s, it was, the subject was more taboo, right. and it wasn't even for Los Angeles as yeah. accessible. Now online. young kids can see Everywhere. porn have, online. Yeah. But you know, you showed before a segment about uh, in in Belgium mm -hmm. that they now have a way of texting and special walking, roads. Yes. That worries me terribly. You know what will happen, Steve and Lisa? In a while, people will lose the ability to conversation. Mm -hmm. They will only want to text. Oh, they absolutely. get so, you see it in restaurants. It's happening. I agree that children sometimes, parents are happy when they do it for a little while. But I am very worried about that Connection. ability yeah. of having a conversation and looking at, like what you say, looking into each other's eyes mm -hmm. and even holding hands. And holding Look hands. at the interesting socks. You like socks? I, I, I wore these for you. I wore these for you. So um, things have changed. but Are things th better or worse? Better because there are less women in this great country of ours who do not know, have, haven't heard the, lang the, the uh, advice, I'm not the only one, other people talk about sex, that a woman has to take the responsibility for her sexual satisfaction. Say that again. Mm. The responsibility wow, okay. for her sexual satisfaction is to teach him, even if he loves her, yeah. even if she thinks he ought to know, not so. She has to teach him what she needs. Well, people are still uncomfortable. Right. Because that's why I did this book, The Doctor is In, uh, the uh, Dr. Ruth on yes. Love, Life, and Joie de Vivre. 
they are still uncomfortable. It doesn't matter. Take a deep breath and take the risk of saying what you need. Mm -hmm. So we in this country, people are more satisfied. Men, listen carefully, Steve. I'm listening. Especially young men without gray hair. <laughs> there are less men who are what, was, what is called premature ejaculators. Yes. That used to be a man who uh, couldn't hold the end um, when he wanted to. Yes. So easily, there are many sex therapists out there. Uh, nobody's like Dr. Ruth, but there are many out there who have taught men how to be able to uh, ejaculate. I can talk like this because mm. I'm a sex therapist uh, when they want to. So we are much better off in this country than we were before. Right, you made a statement that got, caused a lot of controversy. Yeah, and you were well, you were talking about like uh, on college campuses mm -hmm. and being kind of afraid about yes. the, how people behave and the freedom that people yes. have. And when two people get into bed and you have your clothes off, right. and a woman should not be able to expect that a man would be able to stop himself right. at that point. Lisa did her homework. You did your homework. Loud and clear. It's very controversial. But I'm now 87 years old, and I'm standing by what I have said, that if a man and a woman, or two men, or two women, it doesn't matter. Whatever the case. I'm right now talking about a man and a woman. If they are in bed together, and I'm not talking about when they are drunk, because then I don't even want to talk to them. Right. Yes. But when they are in bed together without clothes on, I do not believe that at one point he or she can say, no, I changed my mind. I want that couple, whoever it is, to have a relationship beforehand. And if they are in bed together naked, then I believe that they have had a relationship already. They love each other. They have that good smile. Look at his smile now. And then they ought to have good sex. Mm -hmm. So I know it's controversial. It is. Because people so, thought you were victim shaming. If they I, I'm not victim claiming. I'm telling women and men, if you are drunk, sleep it off before you have sex. If you are not drunk, and if you're in bed together, no. But what if you that, want to change your mind? The last moment you realize this is wrong. If the relationship is wrong, you have to know it beforehand. But not not but, when you but are naked. Say, but Dr. Ruth, with all respect, let's say that you don't understand how the relationship is going. And at that moment, you think to yourself, I don't want this. I, I don't. I shouldn't I don't be here, it. but I don't want it. But I'm an educator and I'm telling couples, no beforehand. Don't play around with this strong sex drive. The sex drive is very strong. Mm -hmm. And don't play around with it. I'm also saying to him, he can't suddenly say, I really don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Once she is aroused, once she's naked in bed with you, then I hope that you have had an understanding that this relationship is productive, it's leading someplace, and you're going to have great sex. All right, uh, hold that thought. Uh, when we come back in a moment, we're going to do another segment with you, which is very unusual on this show. Thank you. Show the book. We're going to show the book. <laughs> you haven't earned it yet. Wait, take the cover wait, off. Wait. Take the cover uh, off. Oh, you don't like the cover? No, I love the cover, but the, the lettering is in gold. Look, look there's the book. We've been <laughs> the showing the book the whole time. <laughs> okay.